Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Sarah and today I have a haul video for you. So earlier this week I went down to Alabama to visit family and I stopped at the Nashville bins for the very first time. Took a couple cousins with me. And yeah, so like I said, this was the first time I'd been to the Nashville bins, a uh, Goodwill outlet. And I found a lot of good stuff. We went to both locations. Um, I liked one location quite a bit more than the other. Uh, I believe it was the Cockrell Road location I liked better. Um, but regardless, found some good stuff at both. And I'm sorry, my camera's kind of... Uh... All right, let's try that. So yeah, I went to both locations. And I believe I got... I didn't write down the pounds here. But I believe I got... Mm, around like 70 something pounds um so for this whole haul I paid a dollar a uh, dollar <laughs> so for this whole haul I paid a uh, hundred nine dollars and fifty three cents for 89 items which brings my average cost of goods to a dollar 23 which is fantastic it's just so hard to beat that anywhere else I go um, and in fact the Nashville bins was a dollar 49 per pound and crazy thing on the receipt there wasn't any, even any sales tax so that was nice in Indianapolis our bins are $1.79 per pound and then we have tax on top of that so I'm hoping to look into getting one of those like reseller license things from the state so that I don't have to pay sales tax when I buy inventory but anyway really excited to show you guys this haul again $109.53 uh, total 89 items and $1.23 per item so there's some really exciting things in here that I, you know, brands that I have never found before. So I'm really excited to show you those. This is going to be two parts just because it's quite a, quite a big haul. You know, like it's my whole trunk here. See that? Um, so yeah, because because it's quite a big haul, I'm going to break this into two videos. Um, so if you're a reseller, feel free to put me on while you're working or... Um, you know, whatever, you just watch this for enjoyment. Thank you so much for being here. If you're interested in thrifting content, reselling content, especially in the fashion niche, I sell uh, women's and men's clothing full-time on Poshmark and eBay. So if you're interested in that type of content, uh, I would love for you to like this video and please subscribe to my channel so that you get notified uh, when I make new content. Okay, I heard a dog. I'm outside today because I wanted good lighting and it's a little bit later in the day, so. All right, so let's get into the haul. So I'm gonna show you about 45 items here. And then uh, I will record the next video and post that within the next couple of days uh, with the rest of the haul. So let's get into it. All right, so first item is this Abercrombie & Fitch men's fleece sweatshirt. It is a half zip and it's a size men's large. There's Abercrombie. As you know, Abercrombie's really made a comeback. Um, this is black, and it has red embroidery right there. Really great condition. So you even got Abercrombie embroidered there. So I was really happy with that pickup. Um, yeah, just, just great condition, great size. Hoping to get, I don't know, maybe $25 for that. 20 to 25 I'll have to uh, run some comps on that. I didn't, I didn't check it out just, just since it's Abercrombie. I was like, and it's size large and perfect condition. It's just so in right now, I knew that that would probably do well. Let's keep going. All right, next we have this men's basic t-shirt. It is a V-neck by the brand Cuts. Now, this brand Cuts, it's spelled exactly how it sounds, C-U-T-S, is uh, new to me. And uh, I actually picked this up based on the quality at first, and I threw it in my cart, and then I ran comps before I checked out. And uh, turns out that yes, it is an expensive retail brand. And these shirts, even though it's just a basic shirt, uh, is re you know, is reselling for you know above the thirty dollar range. So I was really excited about that. And I actually found uh, three or four of these shirts, different colors, um, and it's like new condition. So just keep that in mind when you're digging through. Um, you know, a lot of people ask me if I wear gloves when I'm at the bins. And these are typically non-resellers. They ask me if I wear gloves while I'm at the bins. And I say no because then I can't feel, I can't feel the fabric. Um, and that is one of the biggest indicators of the quality of the piece, right, is the fabric. Like if it was wool or, you know, like this just has a really kind of luxurious cottony feel to it. You know, I wouldn't have known if I was wearing gloves. So, little aside, but... 
uh, yeah, so I'm really excited about this brand Cuts. First time I've ever found it. A couple more pieces in here, and I think they're, the, they're also men's size large, so I may lot them together. We'll see, but we'll get to those in a minute. Let's keep going. All right, next, this is just kind of a bread and butter piece. This is an American Eagle size women's XL, and it's just a strappy, you know, this maybe this is a dress or maybe it's a nightgown, but it's just like a comfort piece. I picked it up because it's perfect condition, beautiful color, great size, size XL. And, you know, I think that would be a great bundling piece or if it goes solo, maybe 15 to $20. All right now this is a sweat. This is a, a just a sweater I got for myself. It's Ann Taylor Loft, but I thought it was cute because of the color, the ribbing, and it's a short sleeve sweater, which is kind of an unusual thing. Typically, they, those are long sleeve, and it's got kind of a cow turtleneck there. Uh, one interesting thing about, you know, and I'm assuming, you know, I really don't know, but I'm assuming that these items came from Goodwills in Tennessee, but there's my Goodwill tag there. This is priced at $6 for a sweater, wow. Uh, and it says that this, it has the date of December 20th, 2022 on it. So that could be a couple of things, right? That could either be when this went out onto the onto the floor at the store, or it could be the date that this was pulled from the floor. I'm I'm really not sure, but regardless, I'm glad that I got it. So that's that's for me. I don't typically resell the brand Loft, um, but occasionally if it's like a cute style or good size. So let's keep going. All right, next I got this men's. Nike Thermofit. Thermofit means like it's entirely fleece lined. This is just a gray hooded sweatshirt. Uh, and I believe that's University of Illinois, or I'll figure out what the I stands for. I think Illinois, uh, University of Illinois. And it's just perfect condition. I believe this is a size XXL. What is it? Yep. Men's XXL, just great condition. Nike hooded sweatshirt. Next we have a black bra and it is front close. Let me close it here. There we go. So yeah, this is just a nice Victoria's Secret bra. It is a size 38 triple D and it is the t-shirt lightly lined demi bra. So yeah, really great condition, great size. And it has kind of a neat back where it's kind of like meshy like that. So yeah, I was excited about that pickup, hoping for 15 to 20 on that. Next we have a Talbot's, kind of a sage green utility jacket. And I hesitate to pick this up. Maybe I shouldn't have picked it up. Um, this was at the second Goodwill location, Goodwill outlet location. And I didn't have as much time there. So um, just to tell you guys, I, so we went to two locations, like I said. Um, and the first location we spent about four hours second location we spent about 45 minutes because they closed at 5 p.m and we were not expecting that you know i should have looked but yeah so we just had 45 minutes at the second location and what was amazing was that i found just as much good stuff if not more good stuff at the second location in just 45 minutes as i did at the first location that took me four hours to find the same amount of stuff. So that was pretty impressive. So I'm definitely gonna go back to that second one if I hit the Nashville bins again sometime. So anyway, uh, what I was saying is that I got this at the second location and uh, because I was rushed and we only had 45 minutes, I didn't do my final check through like I usually do of all my stuff. So I probably would have put this back, but it's because it's a petite small. I think it'll move eventually, but uh, you know, it might be a little bit slow, but I just thought it was really cute. It's got kind of a tie thing in the back, kind of a sage green women's utility jacket. All right, next I picked up these trouser pants. They're low rise, so um, yeah, just a nice women's light gray trouser pant. And they are by Victoria's Secret, which I thought actually was why I picked them up because I thought that was that was so unique. So body by Victoria, and this is called the Marissa Fit, Marissa Fit, size women's four. And so yeah, because it had the style name there, and I mean I'm pretty sure that's vintage because I I never see Victoria's Secret make pants like that anymore. But um, yeah, we'll see what happens with that. I thought it was kind of kind of unique. Uh, pants like trouser pants by Victoria's Secret I don't think I've ever seen that so let's keep going 
All right, next we've just got a basic pair of American Eagle Outfitters distressed shorts. These are Next Level Stretch X. They've got the all capped blocky letters there, which means that's a newer American Eagle piece. Um, so yeah, Next Level Stretch X, high rise shorty, size women six, so great size. And summer's quickly approaching, but I sell shorts all year, so. All right, this is a sweater by the brand Joan Vass. There you go. And it's just really cute. It is a dolman sleeve. Joan Vass, I think, has a decent sell-through rate. Uh, I looked up some comps on the brand. It seemed like I might could get 20 to 30 on this. This is size one and small. I kind of want to keep this myself, which is so cute. Very slouchy, ribbed all over, like very, very stretchy. So yeah, I've never listed that brand before, but I'm excited to see how it does. Oh, it's almost falling. This is, this is a pair of leggings, black, by the brand Blanky. And those of you, you who watched a couple of my previous hauls would have noticed that I just picked up this brand for the first time in like a purplish color. Uh, Blanky is a very expensive maternity wear brand and these are just like flawless condition. Like they look like they may have been worn one time. So yeah, these retail for quite a bit of money. This is a size women's maternity medium. So yeah, really happy about that. This is like a cow neck turtleneck top in like a light blue and it's by the brand Lou and Gray. Lou and Gray is a brand that's kind of known for their comfort, soft, soft, uh, uh, soft clothing. And this is actually their signature soft um, fabric. So I'll make sure and put that in my listing because it's very popular and people look for it. Plus it's an XL, great size to resell. And this is like a tunic top. It's really cute. It's got like the side kind of V there. So hope to get oh, maybe $30 for that one. Okay, this is a pair of women's Talbots jeans. They are gray. Here's Talbots. I don't pick up all Talbots, but this is a great size. Size women's 14, it is a jegging, and it is the flawless five pocket. So it's kind of got the line and the style there. The pockets have some cute interior, uh, you know, contrast there with the stripes. They're in just such good condition. I just sold a pair of Talbots of that flawless five pocket line uh, last week for like, I think over $40. I think it was between $40 and $50. So yeah, Talbots is not ch uh, cheap, brand new. And uh, that was a great size. So I think that'll do well. All right, next we've got kind of a tunic shell top. Uh, it's black, it's layered, kind of lagging look. See the cute hem there. And this is by the brand. <laughs> Let me get the dry cleaning tag off of it. Yeah, so this is by White House Black Market. Does really well for me. It's a size women's medium. And yeah, this is just a real basic piece, but I do really well with the brand White House Black Market overall, especially in the larger sizes. This is another Abercrombie and Fitch. This is a men's plaid flannel. There's Abercrombie and Fitch. Men's XL, and it has muscle, so that's the style, so I would expect this to be a fitted shirt. Right, show your muscles. Um, yeah, so it's just, it's a very nice plaid flannel and I like that it has like this, that it has their mousse embroidered right there. That's the Abercrombie and Fitch mousse. So yeah, I was happy to find so much Abercrombie today. I don't usually find it that much. All right, next we have another bra. This is just by the brand Playtex. Again, I've mentioned Playtex briefly in some of my other videos that it often will sell for me in the 15 to 24, $25 range. And this is just a bra. It's got kind of a lace lace detail there. Great condition, it's got kind of a pink, pinky, pinkish blush color to it. And it is a larger size, which is a big reason I picked it up. It's 42C, so I'll look up the style on that. But yeah, I try not to skip out on uh, bras that are in good condition that I think I can resell like 
Victoria's Secret Playtex stuff like that. I've mentioned bras in my previous videos, but I sell. I've listed so many bras at this point that it almost feels like I sell at least one every single day. So <laughs> maybe I do, but um, yeah, don't be skipping out on bras. You'll be making some good money, and they're very lightweight and cheap at the bins. So let's keep going. And this is just a pair of American Eagle women's jeans. There we go. They are, again, blocky all caps, newer brand that brand label there. These are the straight and they are stretch and they are size 10 regular. So a little distressing on the knees, but I hope to get 20 bucks for those. I was really excited about this find. This is a pair of women's seven for all mankind, dark wash jeans. They're seven for all mankind. A lot of times you'll see resellers just put seven fam in their listings. And this is the Guinevere fit. So I will put that in my listing. Um, and they're just flawless, guys. If you're not familiar with seven for all mankind, these jeans are crazy expensive new. Like I wouldn't be surprised at all if this pair of jeans was like $350 or $300 new. And um, you know, it's a great size. I think it's 20, yeah, size 29. So what is that, size eight? I think so I expect those to do really well they're so nice great condition all right let's keep going so this is a men's navy blue blazer I'm sorry the light is doing that guys it tends to do that with bright colors maybe if I stand over here that's a little better okay um but yeah this is a men's navy blue blazer and the reason I picked it up was because it just, it feels like really, something really good. And it is, I've never picked up this brand, but it's the brand Hickey Freeman. That's what it looks like. And it's a 42 long, really beautiful blue interior. And yeah, it's just perfect condition. Um, it's got the double vents in the back. In the front, it is double button closure and it's just perfect condition. So um, I'm hoping I can get something for that. I've never picked up that brand before, but I think I think I did look up some comps on this and it looked all right. So let's hope that does well. Never picked it up before, but thought I'd give it a shot, especially since I'm getting more into men's clothing. All right, next we have another pair of jeans. Have you guys noticed I like to pick up a lot of denim? Tim is a good seller, guys. This is it. Yeah, this, so this is just a pair of women's Levi's. Yeah, kind of a medium wash. Size 31. And, um, yeah, they look to be either a crop or, yeah, they look to be either a crop or an ankle length there because of the inseam. Um, but if you're not familiar with Levi's, you can look at least newer Levi's. I don't know vintage you can necessarily do this. There's other identifiable markers on vintage ones, but for other, most Levi's, sorry about the, the lights, kind of weird. Go to this side. Oh yeah, I think that's a lot better. Um, if you look under the tag there where it says PC9, yeah, right there at the top, PC9, it's got a number. That's your style number. And then when it says dash, um, that's your colorway, your wash. Um, so you can look those up and figure out the exact name of that. So, but yeah, size 31, what's that, size 12? It's a great size, I think I can get something out of those. This is another bra, it's just Victoria's Secret. Black, and it's got cute straps where they've got the spell out of the brand on there. This is a size, wait a second, is this front close? This is not front clothes. This is back clothes. This is called the T-shirt push-up full coverage bra, and it's a size 38C. So happy about that. Next, we've just got a basic swim top. Get it turned right. <laughs> there you go. It's just a basic swim top, bikini top by the brand J Crew. Don't expect to get very much for this at all, um, but I'm hoping for it to be a good bundling piece size. Women's small. There's our J Crew uh, brand label there. Yep, it's padded. Yeah, and you know someone could match this with a lot of different colors because it is multicolored. 
All right, this, I'm so excited to find. This is the brand Adriano Goldschmidt. Sometimes you'll just see AG on the label. Uh, like on the back there, it says AG Supply, um, but it is Adriana Goldschmied. You can see Adriana Goldschmied Supply. And this is just a pair of women's khaki crops. Um, they're called the Ex Boyfriend Khaki Crop. Size women's 29. Great condition. They have some intentional distressing there. Um, and yeah, just, just amazing condition. Adriana Goldschmied primarily makes denim, but pants too and they're really expensive new and they've always been a pretty good seller for me I hope I'll run specific comps on that I don't I don't always run comps when I'm at the bins because I can I have a little more wiggle room for risk um, but when I'm at regular Goodwill like I pretty much always run comps so just a little uh, aside there but but yeah so I'm hoping to get at least hmm, I'd say at least $30 for those all right, next we've got the brand Susan Graver. I don't always pick up this brand, but I thought I would the other day because I just sold one of these on eBay. Uh, it was like a women's sweatshirt. This is just a women's red, kind of a tunic sweater, size large, really nice burgundy color by the brand Susan Graver. So I thought I would give that a try. Uh, I can't remember what the black sweatshirt sold for, but um, enough to wear I would try out the brand again and see how it does. All right, guys, this might be my favorite pickup of the day. It's between three different pickups, so um, you have to let me know which one's your favorite. But this one, this one's near the top. So maybe you can guess the brand. Oh, did I just show you? Maybe you can guess the brand before I show you the tag. This is a super com comfy, chunky knit, oversized like popcorn knit cardigan. It's in kind of a turquoise blue color. Sorry, it's kind of overcast today. I thought I would, I thought I would do good um, with my lighting doing this outside today, but maybe not. Um, hopefully, you guys can still see everything okay. But yeah, it's super chunky, and it is by the brand Free People, guys. I couldn't believe when I found this size women's small, and it's such a substantial, nice piece, man. This thing would have retailed for uh, probably a couple hundred dollars. I have recently seen. Uh, sales on like this exact type of cardigan by free people for like 80 to 90 dollars used so i'm so excited about this now it does have a little flaw it's got a tiny separation in the back right there but it was it's really hard to see unless you look up close and it's right on the seam so i've got to decide if i want to uh pay my seamstress five dollars she's she's awesome she she would just take five dollars to stitch that up real quick for me or if I want to just sell it as is um, because it's on the seam and it, it kind of fits in with the look of this cardigan already um, I'll have to figure out what to do but I was so excited about that I really am hoping to get at least $80 for that so let's keep going all right this is just a Vera Bradley tote bag travel bag zips at the top has a really cute pattern and I think it is vintage you stand on this side that's a little better I need to try to let me move this flower pot <laughs> okay that's a little better so yeah it's a vintage Veer Bradley travel bag pocket in the front zip top and yeah that just looks like a vintage label to me and uh Veer Bradley has a, has a big following and especially because this is a bigger bag um, I don't usually find the bigger travel bags like this. I usually find smaller purses, so I'm hoping that'll do well, maybe $25. All right, next I got a few pairs of shoes. Let me see. Yeah, so about seven pairs of shoes that I was really happy with. So this first pair is a pair of mini Tonka moccasins. Lovely condition, suede leather. If you're not familiar with the brand, mini Tonka. Retails for quite a bit. People love it. It's a Western wear brand, as you can see moccasins and they tie in the front just have the tongue there and um yeah size women's nine and they are like they like are really actually moccasins like look at the bottom they're just like all that's all one piece so they got really quality stitching around the edges so i hope to get maybe maybe around 30 dollars for those 
Next we've got a new with tags pair of Aldo women's loafers. Just really classic size women's 11, brand new. They've still, they're still uh, bound together and that's not just what Goodwill did. I can tell that that's what the, uh, the manufacturer did and they've got the stickers and the soles still size 11, Aldo. Never sold the brand Aldo before, but I thought these were just really nice. They are, they are faux leather, but a really nice neutral color loafer and you've got kind of a platform there and a nice sole. I'll uh, get, try to get that off with rubbing alcohol. So yeah. All right, the next pair of shoes I got are these men's Adidas sneakers. They got a really cool pattern on the outside. They're gray and I didn't run comps on these, but I thought they just looked really unique and like they were a special style and that they would do well because they have alpha bounce here. Alpha bounce, they're a great size, size men's 11. Really great condition. I can clean them up, no holes, rips, tears, and you know, not even stains, I can get that off. But they're like a white and gray, really nice tread. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to see what I can get for those. This is a pair of women's Aquitalia booties. Aquitalia is uh, sold at Nordstrom and other places. It's very expensive. These are like a taupe colored. I know I use the word taupe a lot, but I think of a lot of taupe things. Uh, whenever I say taupe, it's just like a, a light brown, kind of a muddyish color. Uh, but yeah, suede leather, uh, made in Italy, size women's eight. And you've got probably, get on the side. Uh, Two and a half inches at least on the heel. Zip interior. So yeah, it's just so nice. Very clean. Aquatalia, sold it before, does pretty well. Yeah, excited about that. Next I got this pair of women's Tom's boots. They're like new, still got the stickers on the bottom. Basically no signs of wear. And they've got this really cool like tweed kind of furry, multicolored knit there. They are a size women's seven. Yep, it's Tom's, they are not leather, but yeah, hoping I can get 20 to 25 for those. Just a few more pairs of shoes, guys. We got the Sam Edelman cream pointed toe suede leather heels. They're beautiful, great condition, size eight, great size. Leather upper, yeah, these are called the Tristan. Really nice neutral color. I think those will do well. That's probably a two and a half inch heel. Oh no! I didn't notice this. Has, it does have just a little scuff right there. I think I can still move them for something though. All right, as you can see, I found a lot of boots today. This is another pair of boots. Brown suede leather. This is by the brand Born. Um, but yeah, these would have been very expensive new. This is a size women's. Where are you? Nine. It's got my style there. You can look those up, but they're, yeah, they're just really good quality. I can clean up the suede with my suede brush and cleaner. And they're just a really rich, beautiful brown color that's neutral. And I love that they've got like these things on the side and they've got zips in the back. All right, last pair of shoes. We got this pair of Torrid again. It's like taupe is the best way to describe it. And they're laser cut. This is a Torrid boot. Ankle zip there at the back. Pretty high heel. Um, what is that? Probably, probably three to three and a half inches there on the heel. Great condition. And these are a size women's 13 wide. So I think those will do well, especially because that size isn't very common. All right, so next we have this kid's L.L. Bean Windbreaker, and it is fully fleece lined. Ooh, it's starting to rain a little bit, guys. Um, I may cut this haul off right now after the L.L. Bean, um, and then I'll record the, the part. We're pretty much, we're getting really close to halfway. Maybe 10 items left to halfway. So I'll just put the additional items in the second haul and be on the lookout for that. Thanks so much for watching. Some of the best stuff is yet to come. Um, so definitely check out part two when it comes out. But yeah, this last item is just a kid's L.L. Bean. Let me show you L.L. Bean. There you go. And it's a size small. Looks like a girl's 
size small. Nice zip pockets, you know, this could be great for skiing or snowboarding. It's uh, waterproof and all that. So I was really happy about that pickup. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the haul. Again, this is only like almost half of the haul. So I'll be back with another video very soon. And you'll have to let me know what your favorite thing is so far in this haul. All right, remember to like and subscribe if you're interested in this content. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.